If you watch a lot of videos on YouTube about Roblox Studio, you may see a bunch of videos such as this one, and other ones like this one, and this one. Now, the thing that all of these videos have in common is they're all using a game on Roblox called Roblox Studio Lite, because Roblox Studio is not actually on mobile. So let's go ahead and show you how to use this. So if you go to Roblox, I'll leave the link to this in the description, but there's this game called Studio Lite, and if you press play, this game will allow you to use Roblox Studio in a game that was made with Roblox Studio. It's really cool. So if we jump into this, as you can see right here, it's literally Roblox Studio. We can add a part, then we can scale the part, and you can actually make a game. We can move this part around, and we can even select things. There's also a toolbox that will allow you to insert things. We can insert teleport parts. And then if we just press play, it starts the server. And we can go ahead and touch on these parts. And it'll teleport us. So theoretically, you can make entire AAA games in this. And since it's available on mobile also, you can now make Roblox games on mobile. And this game is really cool, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make something awesome. So now we have this really basic map here, and it's starting to look good, but we should add a little bit more detail. In the toolbox, there's a bunch of stuff for houses, so I'm going to use those. While I'm making the game, I want to tell you about my Discord server. We have around 400 members, and it's still growing. If you want to talk to other Roblox developers or participate in weekly events, make sure to join my Discord server, and you might be in the next video. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, so the controls are a little weird to use, but honestly, this game is really cool, and I'm making a decent amount of progress. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this, and I'm adding a bunch of interior decoration. Also, you can import your own images and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead into real Roblox Studio and I'm going to import the sunless blue sky. So the way I'm going to do that is go into the game, create a skybox, but it won't actually let you insert a skybox. So you have to insert one of these. And then I'm just going to copy all the asset ID. So skybox back. And as you can see, it changes it. So we can go ahead and do that for all of them. And if we look down, as you can see it's changing it. See how this works. And there we go. We just imported a custom skybox. And I also want to make food that you can eat. So what I'm going to do is go to the toolbox and press meshes. Then press pizza. And then this creates a pizza. Or inserts it, I mean. And then we can just put that over here and rotate it. I want to see if we can actually make a tool, though. If we can make a tool, we can make this pizza eatable. Okay, so now that we have the pizza, uh, let's see if we can put it into a tool. Is that a thing yet? So tools aren't actually a thing yet, but we can insert a sword and then just delete everything inside of it. So we have this right here. We can delete that. We can delete the mouse icon. Now, can we parent this to the tool somehow? Oh, cut and then paste into. Okay, now we did that. Okay, awesome. Now we can delete that handle. Then we can name this one handle. Perfect. And then if we go ahead and save the game, uh, the house is unfinished, but we'll finish that in a sec. I also want to anchor everything, and that's going to be kind of hard because I'm going to have to, except for the sword, we want to make sure this is unanchored. Okay, unanchor that, and make sure it can collide. There we go. Perfect. Now, if we press play here, it's going to take a little bit, but now that we're here, everything's falling apart because everything's unanchored. Door works. Okay, now we can grab the pizza, and we have pizza. That's really cool. So I'm going to change the grip position on this. And we also want to rename it to pizza. If we were to rotate this, it would have to be on the x-axis by like 45 degrees. So let me see if that changes anything. And also, I'm just going to multi-select everything here. Is there like an anchor button that we can do? Or are we going to have to go through each one of these and anchor? We might have to do that. So let me just do that right now. If we select all of these and then press anchor, 
does it actually select all of them in Ancrum? No, it doesn't. So that's one downside to using this. I do like it though, it is uh, really cool to use. Then we can anchor everything else, the base. Okay, so now all those are anchored. Now we have to anchor these. Okay, now that those are anchored, now I can get back to work building it. Okay, so I've basically finished the house, and I think this looked actually really good for being made in uh, Studio Light. I'm just going to change the color of this really quickly, so it gives it some more definition. And I'm not even a builder, I just made this with free models pretty much, but I think it turned out really good actually. So let's go ahead and press play and test this game out. So we can walk into our house, the door opens up. Uh, there's no lights yet, I need to add those, but we have a piece of pizza we can grab. Need to script that, but we have this couch. And I might put a TV right there, just to decorate. Over here, I'm thinking of adding like a bathroom maybe right here. And then something else right here. We go into here, here's like the bedroom. We have like a nightstand, I don't think we can open these. Oh, we can open these though. That's cool. And then we can go to sleep. Yeah, I think this house looks really good though. We have a kitchen. We can eat. I don't know why it has the uh, icon of a sword, but it's alright. Don't know what's going on here. Yeah, and then we have a car and we can drive away. So yeah, this game's going good. I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside and add some stuff. Okay, so I just finished building this entire thing and it took me like two hours. So let's go ahead and check it out. So we have these nice palm trees and we have like grass and stuff. And we have this amazing exterior. Also, I'm not a builder. I I am like a decent builder, but I don't like specialize in building. I'm a scripter. Uh, so if we look at this, we have some nice toolbox rocks. We have a nice completely scripted toolbox car. And if we walk through here, as you can see, we have, I added the lights, so now we have uh, light in here. We have a table, and this like entire thing is like pretty comfy. I like the look of it. We have a nice flat screen TV. It doesn't work at all, but it's, uh, it's a thought that counts. We have these nice windows. We can look out into oblivion. We have a sink. We have pizza, a stove, table to eat at. We go in this. It's a bathroom. Uh, it doesn't work, but it is a bathroom. And then if we go into here, we have a nice bed, and I think this house is complete. So let's go ahead and press play and check out the game. So now that we're in the game, we can go ahead and look at it. And I forgot to anchor the lights. One second. And there we go. Now we can press play again. Just a little bit of technical difficulties. So if we go in here, the door opens. Uh, and again, the door opens. 
Then we walk through here. We have a nice couch to sit on. You can watch TV. Look out the window. Go into first person. We can check out the sink. We can turn it on. You can also grab a slice of pizza. I don't know why I'm holding it like that, but it's all right. And we, can, we can't eat it, but we can go in here. Uh, everything's falling apart. I forgot to anchor a lot of this, but it's okay. We can use the toilet. We can go in here to the bedroom, lay down. We can open up this, check out our clothes and stuff. And then after we're all said and done, go out here to our car and drive away. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. There is a couple downsides to this game. I think it would be better if there was more shortcuts and also if the scaling and moving and stuff was better. Just like if it was a little bit more like Roblox Studio, it would be perfect. Honestly though, I think this game is amazing and it has a lot of potential to be great. I mean, I built an entire house with a car and pizza and stuff in it, so it's really a good game. It's just a little hard to do it. It took me two hours to build this entire thing. In Roblox Studio, it could take me 20 minutes. But overall, it's a great game. I think you guys should go play it. Check it out in the link down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.